For this lesson, I'm going to cover Forensic Toolkit FTK Imager. Forensics investigators protect the integrity of computer evidence from the time it's seized until the end of the trial by maintaining the chain of custody. The chain of custody must be carefully documented to certify to the court that the evidence has not been altered or tampered with. Forensic investigators duplicate digital evidence by using a bitstream process called imaging, which duplicates the original evidence and allows agents to examine the copy without the risk of damaging potential digital evidence. The bitstream process makes an exact byte-for-byte -byte copy of the original source disk, including the physical and logical file locations. This process is important because remnants of deleted files still exist on the storage device until they are overwritten during computer operations. The file remnants can be searched and repaired to recover deleted files and make them readable. The imaging process also generates file signatures or hashes that can be used to identify potential evidence and validate their integrity throughout the investigation process. So FTK Imager can be used to preview digital files to determine whether evidentiary data exists in the form of documents, graphic files, deleted files, or encrypted files before an extensive investigation is initiated. Although FTK Imager can locate encrypted files, it can't decrypt it. If potential evidence is located, then Imager can duplicate the storage device to safely process the data. FTK Imager supports Dawson Windows, Linux, and Apple Macintosh file systems. Okay, so let's review. Forensic investigators protect the integrity of computer evidence from the beginning to the end. The chain of custody must be documented to certify that evidence has not been altered. FTK Imager is used to produce hard disk images that can be analyzed by forensic software. Forensic investigators work with image files because they can be examined without damaging the original evidence. Lastly, bitstream imaging is the process of duplicating original data on storage devices for forensic analysis. Now then, let me show you a demo on how to install FTK Imager. Okay, after downloading FTK Imager, you want to go ahead and run it as admin. Okay, click next. I accept and next. Next again. Uncheck Run the FTK Imager and click Finish. Alright, let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is FTK Imager. Alright, well thank you for watching the video.